Let's go. Hello and what's up peeps, this is the Geek Artist and on today's video I'll be showing you how to draw clean and smooth line art in 4 simple steps. So don't forget to like and share the video and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Step number 1. Line confidence. If your line art doesn't look clean then it's probably because of lack of line confidence. You're probably drawing hairy strokes. Hairy strokes are when you draw multiple small strokes to trace that one line instead of drawing it in one swift stroke. And you can clearly see the difference. Imagine drawing an entire scene with such hairy lines versus drawing in entirely with fast confident strokes. Huge difference right? Hairy strokes can be the result of lack of confidence or maybe your drawing tablet isn't that good and the lines are always a bit wobbly. Now there are a few ways you can achieve this confidence and get those nice clean lines. Some helpful exercises. For starters, try drawing fast. When you draw lines slowly, your hands are bound to shake and the lines look wobbly. So try going fast and use Ctrl Z every time you make a mistake. Fast stroke, Ctrl Z. Fast stroke, Ctrl Z. Keep repeating this until you get that nice clean stroke. Always try to go confident and if you make a mistake, try Ctrl Z to undo and repeat. Next tip, try to draw a page full of straight lines with fast confident single strokes and then try drawing a page full of circles that look clean and complete. They don't have to be perfect circles, just go fast and make sure that the starting and ending tips join up perfectly. And then try drawing a page full of S like curvy waves. Go fast and confident and make sure that the gap between these waves are uniform and try not to overlap them. If you practice these exercises, you'll definitely see an improvement in your line confidence and you can say goodbye to those ugly hairy strokes for good. Oh and one more thing, if you're using an older version of Photoshop, try upgrading to a newer version like Photoshop CC 18 onwards because they come with this amazing feature called brush smoothness whose value you can adjust to get the right amount of smoothness in your strokes. So even if you draw slow and wobbly, this feature makes sure that the line still looks smooth. Awesome right? This neat feature has literally been a lifesaver for me. I've saved so many hours and I've finished my line art a lot faster now. Step number 2. Line Thickness if you're using a drawing tablet, make sure to turn on these two pressure sensitivity options on Photoshop so that you can get the natural feel of drawing on paper. When you go from light pressure to hot pressure, the line goes from light and thin to darker and thicker, just like an actual brush or pencil would. Now you can use this to your advantage to make your line art look a lot more appealing. Wherever multiple lines are converging into one point, try to make the lines thicker as they meet. You can also use line art to indicate lighting. Areas receiving more light can have thin lines and areas that will be in the shadow can have thicker lines. You can also make your line art more interesting by making the outer line thicker and the inner details thinner. This variation in line thickness adds to the overall design aesthetics of your drawing. Another way you can use it is to indicate perspective depth or distance. Objects that are closer can have thicker lines compared to objects farther away that can have thinner lines. Step number 3. Natural Stroke Flow Every artist has their own natural stroke flow. For me, it's bottom left to upper right or vice versa. That's when I get the maximum confidence stroke. That's my natural path or flow. Now if I had to draw a clean line that's on the exact opposite axis that is from bottom right to upper left or vice versa, I'll find it extremely difficult to do it, very uncomfortable. I'll end up drawing way too many wobbly and imperfect lines until I get the right one, which can get quite frustrating. Now there's a very easy solution to this and that is rotating the canvas. Press R on the keyboard and then rotate the canvas until the sketch lines align with your natural stroke path. 
Once you have that, press B to go back to the brush mode and you can easily get natural clean strokes now. Easy right? And finally, step number 4, easy fix. Now let's say you follow all the above 3 steps and you see there are still places that can be improved on. Instead of redoing these areas, you can just fix them using certain techniques. For example, you can mimic line thickness of certain strokes by using the eraser tool. Just erase the tip of the lines until they look sharp. And if your line art does not perfectly align with the sketch you're tracing on, you can go to filter, liquify, go to advanced setting, make the background visible, and now zoom in. And using the liquify tool, you can warp your line art slightly until it perfectly aligns with the sketch. You can also try this with the warp transform tool. Select the concerned area with the lasso tool, go to image, transform, warp and modify the selection until you get the perfect alignment. So those were my 4 tips to get cleaner line art and improve your digital inking skills. If you found this video useful, destroy the like button and share the video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications of my upcoming videos. And if you have any questions or video suggestions, make sure to drop a comment. Your engagement and support is greatly appreciated. So that's it for now. See you on the next one. Peace.